everybody, and welcome to another episode of Girly Girly Prod Reviews. You might be wondering why we're not downstairs in the pony collection room. Yeah, it's because I was just too just easy to um, take my computer down, basically because I'm having a bit of um, tummy trouble. Lovely. <laughs> Joy! Um, but enough about that. Um, let's get on with the piece that I actually got today from Toys R Us. And note... Yes, I opened it already because I just, I got too excited. I had to open it. Well, I was at Toys R Us today. In the game area, I've been looking for what, this one memory card game. And the lady there said to me, oh, we, they've, they've stopped making it. They took it off the shelves. Basically, there was some problem with it or something. How can you have a problem? With a memory card game. What, didn't have the right color or something? I don't know, but I found this beauty tucked way in the back. The My Little Pony memory card game. Yes, there was only three left. It was way in the back. I was just about to leave the store. When I turned around, I saw a little Pinkie Pie here peeking out at me from behind the thing. I was like, Pinkie Pie. Gotta go pay for it. So basically, um, this is the front. The side, it's got a really nice picture of Celestia. It kind of reminds me of a, of a puzzle box, which is kind of nice. You got, you got Rainbow Dash on that side. You got the word memory card game. And then on the back here, we have Celestia and a picture of what the cards basically look like here. They came on on these um, these things here. Like each one of these is a card that I popped out already. They came on sheets. There was six sheets, I think. When yeah yeah six sheets. There's a blue sheet, a pink sheet, and a purple sheet. And um, yeah. I have them right here. They come in a little tiny tray. Um, I love this idea of what they did here. They give you this cute little tray here that you can house the cards in. On the back side of each card is a pattern of the, all the cutie marks so you can't really see what design is on the front. Well, on the other side, let's cycle through all the cards that will be doubled. Like, you have doubles of each set to match them up. So, starting with the purple set, we have uh, Applejack. That's cute. We've got Fluttershy. Yay! We've got Rainbow Dash. 20% cooler. Let's face it, Rainbow Dash made My Little Pony 20% cooler. By the way, at the end of this review, I got something really scary to show you. Rarity! It's fabulous. Twilight Sparkles Cutie Mark. There are quite a few cutie marks in this one. Rainbow Dash. Pinky! Party! Twi uh, Twilight. Pfft. Rarity! They're both unicorns. A heart. Might mean Princess Cadence! Also, at the end of this review, along with the scary thing, I have an announcement to make. Also, I'd like to state that. Um, Counterlot. Random Counterlot for the win. This! I don't know what the heck this is supposed to be! It says, Celebrate Friendship. It has a picture of Spike and Twilight dancing with a cake on her horn. This is the most random picture I have ever seen in, like, all my years of collecting ponies. That is just the weirdest picture I've ever seen. And the last one is Celestia. So that's the purple set. Moving on to the blue set. We have Celestia's cutie mark. We got Fluttershy's cutie mark. Which is just adorable. Spike! Spiky Wikey. He's so cute. Should get Kathy Winslet to autograph that if I ever meet her again. Yeah, Applejack. 
got Celestia. That's a nice one. I actually got Kathy Winslet to autograph my Spike plushie, which is pretty sweet. You got Fluttershy. She signed it on his diaper. You got Applejack. Applejack. Carousel Boutique. Otherwise known as the playset that's so hard to find, it's not even funny. Um, Rarity. With the saddlebag. <laughs> it's fabulous. It's fabulous, darling. Pinkie Pie with, I'm guessing, lollipops. I'm guessing. Okay. It's a baton made of lollipops. And she's got little tiny hair clips of candy in her hair. That's adorable. Oh my gosh. And the last one for the blue collection is Twilight and Spike. That is the blue collection, which now for the final set, which is the pink set. This beautiful picture of Fluttershy. Oh my gosh. Look at the little bunny. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Much cuter than my bunny, who's jealous of a puppy. He is! Twilight. And I'm... I'm some weird background. I don't know. That's a pretty gaudy background for her. <laughs> uh, we got the Pinkie Pie, Rainbow Dash, and Fluttershy crest. It says, Friendship is Ma oh, My Little Pony. And then it says, yeah, My Little Pony on it. It says, around the crest. We got this one. Twilight! She's all like, hey, look at me! We got this one. Rainbow Dash! Next one. <laughs> um, we got Rarity running or trotting. Very cute. I love those pictures. Uh, we got Pinkie Pie's cutie mark. We got Rarity's cutie mark. We've got... I think this is the crest for Sweet Apple Acres. I think. Because it's got what looks like Applejack. I'm pretty sure that's for Sweet Apple Acres. Yeah, it has to be. It has to be. Pony Power. Some of these are pretty, like, like they're running out of ideas. We've got the Golden Oaks Library. And the last one is a star. Um, I have noticed a few problems with this set. Um... I know it was made a, quite a while ago, before the create, before the Crystal Empire thing even was thought up. But since it was remade and reproduced and like mass produced to be sold again, you'd think they would have put put some more changes into them. Like say, for instance, instead of having this, they could have like the Crystal Heart that Cadence had. And instead of having, like, Pony Power, they could have something like um, Shiny Armor or Cadence's um, Cutie Mark or something like that. They need to have a more wider variety of magic symbols, or at least they could make, like, one of the colored sets all ponies that would be matched up, and the other colored set be all Cutie Marks. And then maybe the other colored set, because there's three colored sets, pink, blue, and and um, purple, the other set would possibly be, like, oh, I don't know, maybe, like, animals of Equestria, or um, landmarks of Equestria, or villains of Equestria. They could have, like, there could be so many things they could have done. But, like, that's the only major flaw I've come across that and the fact that you could only get it for a certain amount of time, which is completely... Ugh. So, yeah, um, I have to give this piece a 8.5 out of 10 just because of the fact that there's those few problems with the set. Other than that, it's a great piece. It's hard as heck to find. If you guys can find it, get it. It's cute, and if it's great for if you have children because it teaches the memory skills. It's adorable. Um, but, yeah, um, I said there'd be something scary at the end of this review. And, yeah, um, you guys want to see a really scary Gen 3? 
Okay, I am proud to show you partially one of the most scariest things in my little pony history. <laughs> I feel so sorry for this, this pony! Look, remember that picture of Cheerily? And she had like the freaking, um, the freaking, uh, perm? In her mane? That's what this looks like! I feel really sorry for this pony. She's really ugly now. And, um, yeah, and so now that you guys have seen the really scary thing, I have one last little thing to update you guys about. I just special ordered on eBay two beautiful little baby ponies that I cannot wait to review when they show up. I'm not gonna say who they are. So, until next time, people, this has been Girly Girly Product Reviews, and this has been me in a sky pie with my words backwards, saying I don't got a single word going through my head that makes sense, and people, no pony should look like this! See you guys next time!